Hello and welcome everybody, I hope that you're all good and you join me an hour and a bit into Chespin Community Day. Thank you everybody who jumped into the live stream. We're already on 16 shinies, 16 shinies in the first hour, which is excellent and a hundo check as well. So again, the stream was excellent. Thank you everybody for jumping in. But now the proper grind session can begin and you can notify that by going ping into AR mode, <laughs> AR quick catch mode. Let's do some shiny checks, see if we can pull in shiny number 17. And the good news is Kecleon drops after community day. So we'll be covering that on this video as well. It's literally been over five years since Gen 3 was initially released in its first wave. Right, we're not getting any shiny, like come on, what about this research? Not off research, unfortunately. And as we arrive at the bandstand, shiny number 17, 447 CP has arrived which is excellent. I actually originally didn't really like the Gen 6 starters, I have to be honest, but I do like Shiny Chespin. It's a great Shiny. Fennekin's got some nice color palette changes, and Froakie's a little bit of a letdown, but Greninja, fan favorite, of course. That will probably be coming out later this year. Is this a dirty two-star? Uh, let's see, not a back-to-back, -back, but if we can get some more, that would be marvelous. I actually have to say thank you very much to Molly on my Patreon squad, who gifted, ah, oh, there's a Shiny. Sorry, 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven shiny. Sorry, Molly, we'll get back to you in a second, but boom, shiny chest bin. That's number 18. <gasps> Dead one star as well, wonderful. But again, thank you, Molly, who actually gifted me the research ticket. I very much appreciate you doing that. And incense pulls in number 19. 19 shinies, and talking of incense, Thanks everybody who joined the live public recording we had for episode 100 of the Incensed Podcast. Episode 100 on January the 8th, tomorrow, Sunday. Keep your eyes on the socials, I will post it everywhere. I spent a good 13 plus hours yesterday editing the damn thing, and I love the episode. It's a really fun episode, it's about 90 minutes of genius. And a good sort of 30 checks later, shiny number 20, so we've hit 20 shinies by 20 past three, an hour and 20 minutes in. That's just been had to attack, of course it did. Stats, wow, couldn't really be much worse as we pass all of the uh, X Christmas trees. It's always like this, I have to check them on camera and then nothing happens, and then as soon as I stop filming, boom, shiny, no. Chespin is camera shy, clearly. <laughs> Super camera shy, oh my days, nope. I'm gonna prove my point right now because this is shiny number 24. I've had four shinies in this one cluster. I don't think I've ever had that many shinies from this particular cluster. 24 shinies, four shinies, what? It was just like shiny, no shiny, shiny, no shiny, shiny. So now we're gonna check the rest of this cluster. Ooh, 91% shiny, nice. There's not actually that much left to check, to be honest. <laughs> we're gonna go AR mode, and I bet you we won't get a shiny again on this cluster because the camera's out. Just watch, just watch no shiny at all the moment we've got the camera out. No, you see, you see, it wasn't gonna happen. We have just picked up shiny number 30, ladies and gentlemen, at quarter to four in the afternoon. So we've still got an hour and 15 minutes to go. 30 shinies at 812 CP, but we are hot footing it. Someone has just said there was a hundo, a level one hundo at that. Shiny number 30 is dead. Let's see if we can pick up. We've got a second chance for a shundo. First one of this video. The actual first one was on the live stream which is hysterical because the first one <laughs> was actually the level 30. Can you even get in here? Hold your phone against the wall. No shiny. Yes! Shut the oh, oh my God. Way. You got it as well. <laughs> no way. Okay, it's this. No, no, no it's not a shundo for me. Oh my God. Hoggers, Francesca, you got the Massetti yeah. shundo? Yes. <laughs> One shiny before I get it. Oh, level level one hundo here. Boom. Shame we couldn't get the shundo. We couldn't manifest it. We had too much shine luck on random stuff. But hey, he's got the shundo chest bit. Look at that. Hundred percent. So we've had level thirty and now the level one, which is awesome. Watch me check something afterwards. It's going to be shiny. Check. Not shiny, thankfully. Thank God for that. <laughs> Technically, the last 20, 35 minutes, level one shiny is. Shiny number 40, very nice indeed. And uh, it's starting to spit rain again, but hey ho, look. 40 shinies is pretty mega for a three hour combo, so I'm very pleased with that. We've been not taking it super hardcore. It's a dead zero star, unfortunately, but 
40 shinies, I'm very pleased with that indeed. And we'll see if we can pick up 41. Bang, there you go. <laughs> Two checks later, 41 in the bag. Shundo man, smug git over there, look at him. <laughs> so, that's the middle finger, kind of, it's a bit better. Let's see if we can go, not another one. Let's see, looking for 42, 42 shinies. You join me at 11 minutes to five and this shiny chest spin is dead. We can see I'm on 49. We are one away from the half century, which would be amazing to pull in. So we're going to see, we've got just on, just over 10 minutes to see if we can pull in that 50th shiny. It's been ages since getting to 50 shinies on one day. Incense, no joy on the incense. There's one inside of each other there, not shiny. We haven't exactly been chasing the shinies like crazy. It's just been very good odds a very good spawn rate for the chest bin and everything. So I'm very pleased with the day. Maybe Ealing Green will bring us some luck. No. Come on. Please, no. Yes, yes, we got it on camera. Yes, 50 shinies, ladies and gentlemen, that we've actually managed to achieve and reach. Let's get some decent lighting. Look at that, seven, two, three, miss the throw. There we go, we don't even hit a throw bonus on it, but 50 shinies has been achieved on a three hour community day for me. Not really going overly hardcore for it, 2XL for the catch, and this one's a dirty two star, but it's been a long time since naming something 50th. Great milestone to achieve, and here we have 51. Oh my God, back to back, 51. <laughs> what? Nice, okay, we've got to keep the grind going. Oh my goodness, we've just pulled in one minute to go. 7.13 is shiny number 54, and it's just gone five o'clock, we should catch this. That is just been com day done, and now we can start hunting Kecleon and experiencing that new mechanic, which is great. Shiny, 50, unbelievable shiny total. Oh, final incense? No, sadly not finally off the incense, but 1600 or so XL, starting from pretty much nothing. We started on 620 or so encounters. We're now at 1981. 54 shiny chest spin. Absolutely mad. In this horrendous light, one of the stops I managed to spin on my way in, you can see the silhouette of it there is clinging to the stop. You tap it and it appears. Come on. What are you? I'm tapping the bastard. Yes, there's an invisible obstacle in my, in my way. Has it jumped? It's jumped off the stop. It's there. Kecleon! <laughs> it's actually in the game. Oh my god. And this means we can get a platinum Hoenn medal. Sodding thing attacks. Whoever the Twitter account is that wants Kecleon in the game now doesn't need to be there anymore. Pokedex Kecleon to finish off the day. Well, not quite finish off the day, but there we go. Finally completing Gen 3. About time. Over five years since Gen 3 was first put in the game. And mine is a dirty one star. But watch this. Come on, Platinum Hoenn Medal. Finally, 135 Pokemon <laughs> first discovered in the Hoenn region. Everyone was scouting the stops around to try and find it. You can see it from quite far away, apparently. We've spotted another Kecleon, but before I jump to that, this is an okay PvP rank. It's like, it's rank 46 for both Ultra League and Great League. So we'll send it over to Kuladin, which I have never put into the Pokedex, and then make our way over to go and get Kecleon number two. It's a great shiny family, actually. That's a nice shiny. I, I think Chestnut loses some of the uh, potency of the colors, but look at that. Brown shiny, unusual color palette, I have to say, but my very first ever Chestnut in Pokemon Go. <laughs> which is hysterical and then we can evolve the 100 percenter as well get the research done and dusted which is great so a, a very pleasing day all around genuinely chestnut in pokemon go actually the color palette's all right it does lose some of the potency of the dark brown but it's actually a very nice autumnal shiny look at that beautiful sort of green orange and brown but let's go and get kecleon so you can see from afar you can't interact with it but kecleon is its silhouette is there so it's not difficult to spot but you do have to be within range of it. That's the key thing. We should be in range here. Tap the Kecleon. Tap it. Tap you, you bastard. Come on, jump off. Jump off the stop. It's jumped off the stop and it's there. Boom, Kecleon number two, 870. We're gonna silver pine out them since we have spare silver pine apps. That was a bad throw, but thank you Kabalion for saving my behind. And should be a catch. Easy. 
easy. What was what was I even worrying for? Let's see. Obviously, it's going to be individual stats and everything, much like a Smeargle, a dead zero star again. But it does get interesting moves, Lick Thunder, and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, we're going to try and see if we can spot a few more of these. Comde shiny post. Sparkles. So we had to go and do the Aquiladin Ray because I'm an idiot and forgot to do my research. Thankfully we did it, and this is a shiny from those boosted after five o'clock spawns. But that's going to be it, basically. Uh, Kecleon's very rare, quite far away, and as you can hear, it's rainy, windy, and quite cold. So the order of service is to go and get a takeaway pizza, and then edit, and we'll round out at home where I've got heating. <laughs> So that is going to do Chespin Community Day. Of course, let me know in the comments below how you did on your shiny haul and did you get a shundo like the Italian tripod did. But post com day spawns somehow popped off while we were waiting to get our takeaway pizza. So we ended on 61 shinies and one of them was hysterically good for PvP, 0 15 15. So that I forgot to evolve. I'm an idiot, but the video's been edited. I hope you enjoyed it. And a few notes of Kecleon. So, this little bugger apparently disappears when you enter Sunday. So by the time it swings around to Sunday in your time zone, this dude disappears. Even when it is around, before Sunday, it's very difficult to find. I hope you managed to get one or two. We only managed to get two, to be honest. Everything else seems to have been very far away to walk, and I need to come home and edit on the video. The best chance to get this genuinely will be likely Hoenn Tor when the shiny drops. I'm wondering if they're going to bring it back before then, but this is the word from APAC, the people who've already had the chance to get Kecleon, is that it disappears over the course of the weekend, which is a real shame but let me know in the comments below of course how you did with your kecleon did you get a lot more than me probably not very difficult i know there were a lot of people struggling to find it it was a very rare spawn so on that note smash the like button subscribe if you are new thank you very much to the patreon squad as always for their continued support without their support we wouldn't be able to do half of the stuff we do on the channel so very very appreciative coming up next week not only have we got the traditional Spolay Hour, which is Swirlix with Double Dust, so a bigger hardcore for that one. We've got Zekrom arriving for Raid Hour, of course, on Wednesday. But the Twinkling Fantasy event is lit. A very lit event for dragons and fairies with Shiny Deadene drop in on Tuesday morning. So we'll be making a video for that. And with that in mind, I'll say, do take care.